Congratulations. I see him still as one of the game's greats, but you made that look easy. Yeah, I think he would be a little bit disappointed with how he played today. I think um, I beat him. Well. I played well last week to beat him, and I think maybe that was sort of in the back of his mind today. Um, he was a little bit worried about my game rather than concentrate on his own. So uh, any game you, you're going against John Higgins, for me, I, I can sort of get up for it as, as um as you go through the week, uh, the first couple of rounds were quite tough for me to get up for after what happened last week. And then when you start, start playing Mark Williams and John Higgins, you get that buzz again and, you, and you're able to bring out your best form. I spoke about it to you at the start of the week about the pendulum turning. You know, and it, I was looking at the match then and it almost looks like you are the man being hunted. Now, even though you're playing a four-time world champion, to me, on paper, you look the favourite and it looked, he was chasing you. Yeah, um, I feel very comfortable with my game at the moment. I think... Um, I've had some real good match practice before sort of the season started and during the season with Ronnie and his exhibitions and uh, I've sort of been able to use that as good experience and uh, any time I go against the top players now I'm full of confidence really and um, I think you can kind of see that out there. I feel very good, very sharp and scoring very heavy and I think um, when you're off, mm. able to get off to a good start and uh, sort of make a break first frame it puts the other person on the back foot and he was just maybe a little bit overthinking stuff out there. And um, yeah, you all know, when, when you start missing out there, it's the hardest place in the world to get to get back to um, get back to potting again. I think Mark Selby does that better than anyone. He can really put things behind him. I think the rest of the players, including myself, do struggle with that. And I think that's what happened today. Uh, fair play to John. He said that you blew him away, and, and you did. You know, as we were watching it. Um, spoke to you at the start of the week, and you just come back from Romania. Tremendous week you had there. You won it, and you, by your own admission, you looked exhausted. You look great now. So what's happened? You played more snooker. Yet you look better. Yeah, I think um, it's the it's the first couple of rounds. It's very hard to sort of go from the final back to a one to eight again, and knowing how long you've got, you've got another week, another seven games. And it, uh, the first round, there's obviously not many fans here, and um, I think uh, the second game for me was very tough playing on an outside table, which I don't really do anymore. And uh, <laughs> I did find it a real struggle to get up for that game and I probably should have gone out. And um, after that, I felt very relieved. I'm very lucky to still be in the tournament. And sometimes you need that kind of kick, um, being on the receiving end, really. I should have been out. And then all of a sudden, I, I've sort of played Martin Gold back on TV. And you know it's the last 32. He's starting to get to the business end then. And... Um, I think uh, th last night was the real the game changer. I think against Mark Williams, I got a bit of a buzz for that one. I felt I love playing him. He plays the game such a nice style and just so relaxed, and it really brings out the best of me. You look great. Obviously, we're wishing you all the best. See if you can do the double. Um, don't worry about the waistcoat. Apparently, last year in the qualifiers, one bloke forgot his cue. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that happens to me as well. Don't <laughs> I? As long as I bring my cue and waistcoat, I'll be happy. Good luck, mate. Cheers. Mate.